Hi, Coach. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing really good. That was an outstanding win, six to one, and uh, I hear it's your 250 win as a coach. It is. Woo! <laughs> it is. Yep. How yep. are you feeling about that game? Oh, I mean, it it it, it was outstanding. I thought that I said to the girls after the game that was the um, the passing. And, and the connecting upfield and the anticipation was everything that we've been talking about for two months. That it all kind of came to fruition tonight, and they played the best I've seen them play. Just absolutely outstanding. Stayed in the game the entire time. You know, um, when it became two to one, everyone stayed focused. Not a big deal. You know, we're just going to stay poised. And it really, it, it, it just felt good. It was. It, I felt like we had the momentum the entire game. Would you guys say? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm great. For sure. I, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we really connected this game. We had met, <laughs> we had perfect passes to each other, and we just got them up the field. And I really think that we just emphasized togetherness this game. So everyone was getting up, everyone was getting back and helping each other out and supporting yeah. each other, even yes. when we made mistakes. Yep. I yes. think also, <laughs> Mom, this game we had some of the best goals that we've had all season. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. We Easily. took advantage of every time in the circle. Almost every time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree. As a spectator watching you, I've seen that you guys have kept the intensity the whole time, and that's you know hard to do in um, in playoffs and keep scoring, and you guys keep finding um, the net. What do you think it is about this team and this team's culture that has you know has them so bonded and continues to have them push in these challenging situations? That is such a really good question. Um, this team is, and I, I just said it to the the reporter from the Sun Chronicle. Like the team is very very special. They they care for each other. They deeply care for each other. They um, genuinely like each other, and they they I think they've known each other for so long. I think a lot of them play you know sports outside of field hockey together. So I think the anticipation really helps with their anticipation, their their just knowledge of like knowing how this person plays, where she's got to cut to, how she likes to receive the ball. That sort of thing makes it's like the it factor. That's the difference between you know, a team that's good and a team that's great. And I feel like that's what makes this team great is that they really do care for each other. You'll hear them picking each other up out there and it's not just, you know, here we go, let's go. It's not lip service. They really mean it when they're trying to pick each other up. Right? Yeah, like for you seniors who have been, you know, been here and are uh, great leaders, it seems like you guys um, really see the field well and um, there's not a, egos here. You, it's like a really a team effort. What do you think the difference has been from teams that you've been on before? Um, I just think that this team, like everyone has been saying, we really emphasize it's really like a sisterhood. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Sisterhood. <laughs> and we're just so connected, and that shows on and off the field. Yeah. Yes. Nice draw. We support each other. Even when we make mistakes, we pick each other up, and I feel like it's a big part of it. Yep, it is. Woo! And yep. woo! Catherine over here as the goalie. I mean, you've just been playing amazing this season. Thank you. And uh, what do you? How do you feel about the season? The, you know, the next game going forward and today. You know, it's. I give it all to my defense. Everyone gets back. Everyone, they get back in. That's all we need. That's all we need to get back. Snaps. And you know, we're gonna keep on moving, and hopefully, we're going to the state championship. Hopefully. <laughs> Mary. Oh. You have just been crushing it with the goals this year and, you know, just really stepping up when the team has needed you to put that ball in the back of the net. What do you think has been different about your game this year? Um, I think this year I've been, like, really working well with Maya, which has been very helpful because I always have someone that we can, like, pass back and forth to each other. And I think it's just really helped connecting with each other. Makes it a whole lot easier. Yeah. Uh, M squared. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Cam Collins, the other Collins on the team. What do you feel has been a difference from playing um, in playoffs versus regular season? Um, I think with us it's the same because we always have the same amount of willing to play and playing togetherness. Yeah, so it's just translating from full season to from regular season. Yeah! yeah. Well, you're like a brick wall back yeah. there. You know, and there's nobody getting past you. Um, what do you feel like has been different with the defense and defense communication with offense to really keep pushing that ball forward? Yeah, I think we've definitely been improving our marking skills, especially in the past few weeks. And definitely just the forwards have been getting back, so the midfielders and the defense have someone to pass to right when they um, get the stick on it to clear it out. Yeah. Well, what well you want to add for uh, going forward for the next game? Um, no, I just hope that, I mean, our goal is to try and take this momentum into the next game and do the same thing that we've been doing, preparing, you know, um, 
you know, the days that lead up to the game or the day that leads up to the game because it very well could be Friday. Um, and just making sure that we, we, we prepare the same way we have been and, and, and do the things that we have been doing because so far it's, it's gotten us to where we are. So. One yeah. game at a time. One game at a time. Congratulations, girls. Wish you the best of playoffs. Thank you.